everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marielle, and today I am starting the episode off over by Coco's grave. And the reason is something really bad happened, and I'm gonna have to put down another tombstone. In the last episode, um, right after I finished recording, I was just hanging out. I think I was doing some farming or something around the house. I'm not sure. But Kitty Charles died practically right before my eyes. I don't know what happened. He had plenty of food and his litter box was clean, but he just he just passed away. And so what we're going to do today, we're not going to put down another grave over here. We're actually going to end up moving Coco's grave somewhere else. Um, what I want to do is build a fountain um, of sorts for like, um, like I guess a memorial, mem a memorial. Yeah, I want to build a memorial right over here. I feel like it would look very nice. Just have a, n a nice memorial type fountain for all the pets that we've lost. Eh. Gosh, these big cats are everywhere. Um, I know we've only lost two pets right now, but I want to commemorate them, I guess. This backpack, I've got a whole bunch of things. I've got some pretty flowers because I wanted to make something, and I will show you guys that in a moment. But before I do that, I want to kind of get the outline of the fountain set up. Maybe we'll put it over here and I can make stairs down. I kind of like that idea. I'll put stairs down to here and then this can be the area for the fountain. I kind of like that. It's a nice circle type shape. Okay. That's pretty cute. There's kind of like, um, I don't know, like a little step up to it. I think I'm going to decorate it with diamond because only the best for Coco and Charles. Yeah, see, here's the litter box. It's not even used. He didn't even use his his bugged out cat bed and like this is the food. Let's do like this. Maybe? Because then I kind of want to do some slabs around it. Oh no, I'm dropping things. Mm, no. I am going to use diamonds still, but I just don't like that placement. Okay, what if I made it, like, go down more and I made it deeper? I think that that's probably deep enough. I think I'm going to need to get some more of the stone bricks. Oh no! Oh, danger. Get out of here. Is that going to be enough to kill him? Nice. They're already plotting to ruin my beautiful thing that I'm making for my, 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 my poor pets that died. Gosh, I can't have anything nice. Okay, since it is dark, I want to make the thing that I was telling you guys about. We'll make the white flower. It is a floating flower. Like that floating white flower. And it's made with um, the glycerin white flower, which is just uh, two glowstone with the white flower and then pasture seeds, which we've already made before, but it's grass thrown into the mana pool. And they 
provide light and they f they're really pretty and they like spin it is so so cute and i just i felt like that would be very appropriate to decorate with um here's my other bucket of water so that i can make this infinite i have i should have actually probably made the rest of the fountain before i started filling it with water but you know what it's fine that's the middle yes it is like this and we'll have to make it taller because the fountain is going to be a deeper fountain we'll build the sides up i hope that this turns out like I am thinking it's going to. Then we'll place these. Cute, cute, cute. And let's go ahead and start filling this stuff on the sides. See, this is this is looking cute, I think. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I want to put another flower on the top. So like that. And then I can break this block. And then yay! Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, and the butterflies came out just in time to see it. Oh, This is so beautiful. I love it so much. Do I just want to put the grave? Oh wait, I forgot I was going to decorate with diamonds. Ah! Here we go. This works, this works. Could do some diamond in the water. go oh it's so pretty maybe i just put them right here here lies kitty charles we'll just do classic oh kitty charles let's go get uh coco's bunny grave Honestly, Coco did last quite a while. If the only reason that Coco died was the the freaking ogre. There we go. But Coco only died because of the ogre. And so if I were to get another cat or another cat, another bunny, I don't think it would die to an ogre. Then again, I might be jinxing myself, and maybe it will die to an ogre. I don't freaking know. I wanted to put some of these stone paths around, just to kind of make it more whimsy. Oh, the lily pads. Can't believe I almost forgot the lily pads. Must decorate with the lily pads. It will be so beautiful. Okay. Okay. I like that. Let's put these away and get some pretty flowers out. Let's decorate with the pink daffodils. Ooh, I just put this lavender down, but let's put the pink ones. I like that, kind of spicing it up by not doing just the pink ones. We could do some of the white anemones. Sounds like there's a zombie in there. Okay, so it is morning time now, and I just wanted to get a really nice look at the fountain. It looks so cute. I love it so much. And the little the little flower on top. Oh, my heart is so is so full. It's so happy. Um 
I'm really not sure what to do with this last floating flower, but maybe I could put it by the door. I could do one of the white ones and then I could make up some of the pink ones. <clears throat> that zombie's really noisy. I'm going to have to go find him and, and chop off his head. I think I want to get another bunny. I just tell you guys, I the house feels so empty. These guys are here, but they're stuck in the chairs, and they keep getting stuck in the chairs. So I just, I'm just gonna leave them there. But it just, it feels so lonely. Oh, look at how pretty that is. I'm trying to think of what else to do. We could do building in the village. <clears throat> Because what I really am waiting for is for the sun to go down so that I could go explore and hopefully, fingers crossed, find a black, like a bat horse. Since I have these little flowers here, I can get rid of the torches. Oh, but now it feels like there's missing something. I know. I know what I can do. So we'll put these up. We'll put these up and see how they look. That's cute. I like that. You guys remember whenever I built this and I said that I had saved spots for the lanterns. I never actually put lanterns up. Oh. There we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, hello, George. When did you get up there? I want to say that it looks like the sun is setting, but I honestly can't tell because of the rain. Okay, so I can definitely tell that the sun is setting now. So, let's go out. And let's fly around on Trevor. Before I do that, pause. I'm going to make the, the amulet that holds Trevor. How do I make that? Okay, I think it was like this. Yay! Okay, now we have this. And I'll be able to pick up Trevor if we find trouble. But I don't I don't think we will. I think we'll be okay. Okay, it looks like since I changed these fences, Trevor has had no issues staying up here. Which makes me very happy. Come on, treasure. Tre <laughs> treasure. You're my treasure. Let's go flying around. Well, now the sun is rising and I haven't found a single one. That's really, that really sucks. Oh, let's stop in and see if Valerie had her kid yet. Or, I mean, if Valerie's baby has grown up yet. I think it did in the last episode, actually. Hello, Mitty. Mitty is a child now. Oh, we really need to build more houses. Maybe we could get started on doing some of that. That would be a nice way to end the episode out. <gasps> Kitty! Ooh, let's... I'm, I'm going back and forth all over the place. But let's grab some fish. I believe it should be raw fish. I've not tamed an ocelot in so long. Like, I yeah, it's been so, so long since I tamed an actual ocelot. Um, I'm trying to remember if I've ever tamed an ocelot. That's, like, not in creative, because, you know, whenever you're first starting out on Minecraft, you, you play in creative, and then you, you, like, spawn in a bunch of dogs or a bunch of cats, and then you tame them all, and then you have have an army that you've created. <laughs> and maybe, maybe that's not a universal thing, but that's what I did. I want to build a house here. Hello, Carol. Maybe we could squeeze in two small houses. We could have a house here, 
And then we could have a house that's kind of like long that goes like this way, maybe. We're going to have to set the butterflies free eventually. Who was it that I was going to build? I think it was Hubert. Hubert and Cassie. Where's Cassie? Is that Cassie? Yes, it is Cassie. So Hubert and Cassie. This is going to be their house. I think that that is a good distance away. Gotta make sure we plant the torches back because I don't want to accidentally um, have anybody die. That would be horrible. It's already happened and it didn't feel good. <laughs> do this oh no wait I wanted a window there window there we go I like it it's very simple but sometimes simple is very nice go ahead and give them their door I think I want to have a rounded not rounded but like the roof go all the way around on this house some winders <gasps> no 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 <gasps> oh no that that was almost super bad oh I have to finish this house. Hubert, did you run in here? Follow me, hun. Come in here. Oh, there you go. Where's Cassie? There you go. Now they are both set to to sleep in here. Oh man, bad things keep happening. There we go. Now you guys have a nice little house. And we'll give you a little dandelion. There you go. Oh, kitty cat! Gosh, I don't know how to tame ocelots. Love me, please. Please love me. Yay! I love you! I'm gonna call you Spot, because you have a spot. Oh. oh! Follow me. Follow me, Spot. Oh, there's another one. I don't need to tame every cat that I see. But if I see a calico, I'm absolutely taming it. I love calico cats. They look so adorable. You're so cute. Okay, I think I'm going to go home since it's still raining and it's nighttime. I don't know when the sun is supposed to rise. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Spot got stuck. Oh, no. Spot's fine. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. We made a little fountain um, memorial area for the cat that we lost, uh, Mr. Charles, Kitty, Kitty Charles, and also we added Coco's headstone there. But it's okay because we have Spot now, and oh, um, hopefully Spot will not die um, as long as Spot stays seated right right where right right where he is um i think he'll be fine as i said before i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did go ahead and leave a like on the video maybe subscribe if you want to see more of my content and comment down below what you 
think of the video um yeah i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my name is marielle bye, -bye.